السلام عليكم مرا عمدي رمضان مبارك In other words, happy Ramadan For those of you celebrating, I hope you are taking advantage of the full beautiful month And as for those who do not know what Ramadan is It's a month where we fast for 30 days, no water, no eating at all From the sun rise till the sun down Don't worry, we survive because we have water and food before we start our fast but that's not our subject for today today we are talking about the hijab I didn't always wear one I had to ease up into wearing one because my dad well he's a dad and he doesn't know anything about that but I was still always religious and covered up everything else from my neck all the way down um, that's why it was much easier to wear it when my brother helped explain to me what it means like for example it helps cover your sins and it also shows that you are a religious person so that way when you go out people notice you like your hijab and they're like oh, okay she's a religious person let me say you know assalamu alaikum which means peace be upon you versus you know hey what's up or how you doing things like that so i started to wear it when i was in high school and i did notice that wow you know this is a very good reminder of of me always being watched like somebody's always watching you like you know having for example a cross how it symbolizes that god is always with you that is that was what it felt like with me like okay you know no matter where i'm alone i'm not really ever alone i have god with me but then i started to go out and oh my gosh people would not like stop staring like do i have something on my face and like you know what's going on like if you have something to tell me please do i'm all ears but don't just stare like no <laughs> and so then it just ended up being way too much and i'm like okay i'm taking it off because you guys will not stop staring and then of course there was all these racist jokes like oh my gosh hide she's a terrorist run or duck um so well at least it you know helped me realize that how people actually are towards us and so then i decided okay let me just lay low and experiment with this for a little while and so when i took it back off they had no more stares no more jokes no more nothing it went to back to hey what's up how you doing versus you know oh she's a religious person let me be a little more respectful towards her yeah people were actually more respectful when they saw it they were like yes ma'am no ma'am how you you know like oh my gosh like she has authority so yeah there was two different sides the ones who would not stop staring and the ones who were a little more respectful they were like yes ma'am okay and so I realized that what if I took it off and see how this actually is like so I took it off and so when I started college I decided to rewear it because now I had people who never met me and so I wanted to see how they would react so when I started it I actually noticed a lot more people were wearing it and I was like yes somebody I could talk to and belong a little more and those stairs it was the assalamu alaikum oh my gosh you wear a hijab yay like where did you get yours at let me buy one from there you know like yes connections you know so that's when I realized, oh wow, I could actually make it look nice. Like I could wear all different kind of colors, one with beads and one with little stars and stuff on it, you know. So I was like, okay, that's something. And so that's when people were more like, how exotic. I'm like, not really, but um, at least you said something, you know what I mean? You could just buy one from Walmart for like $5. But yeah, so exotic. 
I li- mean, but again, like at least you said something and you just not like stared at me. Like that is the worst when you stare. Like I don't know what you're staring at. Like is it something good? Is it something bad? Is there something in my face? Do I have something that I need to know? Are you hiding something? Um, but yeah, so just know that if you just keep staring, I will assume the worst. And I do know boxing, so if you come close, I will punch you. Okay. Maybe not that extreme. <laughs> But I'm getting there, like, so, yeah. I think that I've said all that I need to about the hijab. If you want to know more, please comment. I would like to know if you guys wear one. Do you just stare when you see somebody wear one? Um, anything, really. So that concludes episode 3 of Afghanistan. Subscribe.